Yeah, well, like I said, we'll have a production intent prototype ready to show off in Q1, probably around February or March. Optimus 4 could go up to 10 million units, and Optimus 5, maybe 50 to 100 million units. That's how Elon Musk opened the latest Tesla earnings call, and as you can imagine, the entire tech world lit up instantly. Tesla just wrapped up its third quarter earnings report, and as many leaks had already hinted, Musk officially confirmed the launch timeline for the Tesla bot Gen 3, the company's most advanced humanoid robot yet. But that wasn't all. He also teased future versions, generations 4 and 5, and that, of course, sent everyone into a frenzy. Some people were thrilled, while others rolled their eyes. After all, Gen 2 and even Gen 3 haven't properly hit the market yet, and Musk is already talking about Gen 4 and 5. But Musk didn't flinch. He boldly said he could command an entire army of the world's most advanced robots. That single statement alone sparked a wave of excitement, curiosity, and even a bit of fear. Until the official launch, one thing is clear, the Tesla bot's potential goes far beyond washing dishes or cooking dinner. It's already proving it can work, serve, and even think like a human assistant. Welcome to Tech Drive, where we dive deep into the world of Tesla's most ambitious projects. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right now so you never miss any updates from us. Because what you're about to hear might completely change the way you see technology, work, and the future itself. So, what can the Tesla bot actually do right now? How will the upcoming Gen 4 and Gen 5 differ from Gen 3? And the big question, could these robots one day replace your job? Let's find out. During the third quarter call, Musk confidently announced that Optimus Gen 3 will debut in the first quarter of next year. He said this version won't even look like a robot, it'll look so real, you'd have to poke it to believe it's actually a machine. Imagine that for a second. A robot so lifelike that it moves, reacts, and behaves like a real person. According to Musk, the new Optimus has been refined down to perfection. Every visible wire, actuator, or mechanical joint is gone. Everything is hidden beneath a seamless, human-like form. Insiders describe it as the most natural motion ever seen in robotics. And when Musk says it won't just walk, it'll move with purpose and grace, you can bet that he means it. Several leaks suggest that Optimus Gen 3 might even feature an OLED display built right into its face. This will allow it to show expressions, smiles, frowns, emotions, making interactions feel almost human. And yes, it's rumored to come with Grok, Tesla's latest AI system built for natural, real-time conversations. That means this robot could actually understand tone, context, and emotion. Even more impressive are its hands. Reports say they're nearly identical to human hands in both look and function, allowing it to pick up delicate objects, assemble machinery, or even cook with precision. Although Musk hasn't confirmed these rumors, he hasn't denied them either, and that silence only fuels the mystery. Right now, what the public has seen is Optimus 2.5. And even that version shocked people. At the Tron Aries premiere, the Tesla bot performed kung fu moves with such precision that many thought it was a human in disguise. It even interacted with the audience, held a microphone, and served food at a Tesla diner. Think about that, an AI-powered robot serving customers like a trained employee. These aren't staged movie scenes anymore. This is happening. And yet, Musk's ambitions go far beyond what we've seen. He plans to mass-produce Optimus Gen 4 with up to 10 million units, followed by Gen 5, which could reach an astonishing 100 million units. Those numbers sound unreal, almost like science fiction, but for Musk, that's the goal. Still, skeptics argue that Gen 3 hasn't even reached consumers yet, and already he's talking about Generations 4 and 5. But despite the doubts, excitement is exploding everywhere. Many in the tech community believe that Gen 3 will mark the true turning point for humanoid robots, combining advanced AI, beautiful design, and world-class engineering. However, there's a catch. Some insiders say the project may be running behind schedule. Optimus 3 was originally planned for a big reveal this November, but now sources suggest it may be pushed to early next year. Why? Because building the robot's hands, those small, human-like miracles, is turning out to be far more difficult than anyone expected. Musk himself admitted that perfecting a robotic hand with fluid motion, tactile sensing, and strength control is one of the hardest engineering challenges Tesla has ever faced. He said designing a hand that can move, sense, 
and manipulate objects with human-level precision is almost as complex as creating the entire rest of the robot combined. And that's exactly what makes Optimus Gen 3 such an extraordinary milestone in robotics. Elon Musk also made another bold claim during the call, he said Optimus could work five times more productively than a human every year, simply because it doesn't need sleep, food, or breaks. He pointed out that a human works around 2,000 hours per year, while a robot could work up to 8,760 hours, non-stop. Even with maintenance time, the difference is massive. And that's when you begin to see the true scale of what Musk is envisioning. Imagine millions of tireless humanoid workers running factories, hospitals, farms, and even homes, performing tasks with superhuman consistency and accuracy. A robot doesn't get tired, frustrated, or distracted. It doesn't demand vacations. It doesn't quit. That's both thrilling and terrifying. If used in medicine, an optimist could perform surgeries with zero tremor or fatigue, transport heavy equipment, clean surgical rooms, or even assist patients 24-7. In industries where precision is everything, this robot could change the rules forever. And there's something even more futuristic. These robots won't just work alone, they'll share data. Every optimist connected to the network can learn from every other one. So, if one robot improves its efficiency, all of them get smarter instantly. Musk calls this, collective intelligence, a hive-like learning system that evolves with every passing second. The more Optimus units out there, the faster the entire system grows. Still, Musk insists Tesla won't release the robot until it's proven 100% safe. Every behavior, every movement, every grip will be controlled to ensure humans are never at risk. That's why Tesla's testing environments are extremely restricted right now, safety isn't a marketing line, it's the top priority. By the way, if you're enjoying this deep dive, don't forget to hit that subscribe button again if you haven't already. Join the Tech Drive family, because we're just getting started. The second half of this story gets even more unbelievable. What's sparking even more global debate, however, is Elon Musk's jaw-dropping confidence about Gen 4 and Gen 5. He claims that Gen 4 will reach 10 million units and Gen 5 could skyrocket to as many as 100 million. For many people, those numbers sound insane, almost impossible. But when Musk talks, he's not just describing a product line, he's painting a picture of the next great industrial revolution. See, when Musk throws out numbers like 10 or 100 million units, he's not simply boasting about future sales. He's setting the stage for a completely new kind of economy, one where robots, not humans, perform the majority of physical labor. That changes everything, jobs, salaries, ownership, even ethics. It forces us to imagine a world where wealth and work could look completely different. Musk isn't just forecasting technology, he's reshaping expectations for civilization itself. During the earnings call, Musk also made a fascinating statement. He claimed that in the future, Optimus could become an excellent surgeon. Yes, you heard that right. He envisions a version of Optimus so precise that it can assist or even perform medical procedures without error. He said Tesla's goal isn't just to make a robot that works, it's to make one that's perfectly safe, reliable, and intelligent enough to help save lives. And if you think that's unrealistic, consider this, Optimus already has the hardware precision, sensors, and motion control needed for surgical accuracy. Combine that with Tesla's growing AI system, and you're looking at the early foundation of a robot that could someday revolutionize healthcare. Musk shared his long-term dream, a future where poverty no longer exists, where everyone has access to affordable, high-quality care, and where robots like Optimus help make that possible. He believes robotics and artificial intelligence will play a key role in creating a fairer and more efficient world. Tesla first introduced the Optimus prototype back in 2022 during its AI Day event. At first, people laughed. Many thought it was just another one of Musk's wild dreams, like colonizing Mars or building underground highways. But since then, Tesla has made consistent progress, proving that Optimus is more than a concept. Musk has said repeatedly that Optimus isn't just designed for household chores like cleaning or mowing lawns, it's meant to perform meaningful, human-centered tasks like assisting children, supporting the elderly, and helping people with disabilities. And the beauty of it? The robot learns. It senses. It reacts. It adapts to its surroundings. It's built to understand context and emotion, something that traditional machines simply can't do. At the X Takeover event earlier this year, 
Musk doubled down on his vision. He said Optimus could one day act as a 24-7 nurse, helping paralyzed patients move, delivering medicine, or providing physical support at any hour. Imagine a future where an AI-powered companion stands ready to help anyone in need, without sleep or fatigue. That's not just convenience, it's a complete shift in what it means to care for others. With unlimited endurance and unmatched precision, Optimus could provide safety, comfort, and peace of mind to millions of families. It could become the most trusted machine humanity has ever built, a companion, an assistant, a guardian. If that future becomes reality, Optimus won't just change daily life, it will change human history. It'll become a new symbol of what technology can achieve when guided by purpose, compassion, and vision. Elon Musk's idea isn't about replacing humanity, it's about amplifying it. But here's where things get really interesting. Why did Elon Musk decide to skip the full production of Gen 2 and Gen 3 altogether? Earlier this year, he made headlines for demanding a $1 trillion compensation package from Tesla. Critics called it arrogance. But behind that massive number lies something deeper, his unwavering confidence in Tesla's future dominance in robotics. Musk isn't thinking small. He's thinking in decades, even centuries. His plan for Optimus goes far beyond basic prototypes. Tesla aims to build a production line capable of manufacturing 1 million Optimus robots per year by the end of 2026. That's not speculation. That's an official internal target, a timeline so aggressive that even Musk called it extremely difficult. The roadmap is crystal clear. The goal is to have a production intent prototype ready by early 2026, probably around February or March. After that, Tesla plans to ramp up to 10 million units for Optimus 4, and ultimately 50 to 100 million for Optimus 5. Just to put that into perspective, that would make humanoid robots the single largest industrial product category in human history, bigger than cars, phones, or computers. But scaling production to that level isn't simple. As Musk explained during the call, there's currently no supply chain for humanoid robots. No network of specialized parts, materials, or vendors. That means Tesla has to build everything, every actuator, every sensor, every microchip, entirely in-house. Total vertical integration. It's a logistical nightmare that only a company like Tesla could even attempt. And yet, Musk insists that his motivation isn't money. It's influence. He's repeatedly said that his greatest fear is developing powerful AI systems without having enough control over how they evolve. Currently, Musk owns about 13% of Tesla, but he said that he needs around 25% to have real guiding power. That's not greed, he argues, it's responsibility. He believes that AI and robotics are too powerful to be left uncontrolled. He wants to make sure they evolve safely, ethically, and for the benefit of all. So, when he talks about skipping Gen 2 and Gen 3, it's not just a technical decision, it's a statement of intent. Musk is saying, we're not here to play small. He wants Tesla to jump directly into large-scale, autonomous, intelligent robots capable of integrating into human society. It's bold, risky, maybe even a little crazy, but that's how Musk has always operated. When a shareholder asked him if he was afraid of losing control after building what he called a massive robot army, Musk laughed and then paused. He said, I don't want absolute control, I just want strong influence. That short answer spoke volumes. It showed his understanding of the balance between innovation and caution, between ambition and fear. To him, Gen 4 and Gen 5 aren't just improved versions of a robot. They're the first step toward mass deployment, millions of autonomous assistants working safely among us, in factories, hospitals, and homes. Smaller, slower upgrades wouldn't cut it. If Tesla wants to lead the AI and robotics revolution, it needs to leap forward fast. And that's why skipping Gen 2 and Gen 3 makes sense to him. It's about scaling fast enough to define the future before anyone else does. Musk believes these next generations will be the real deal, the ones that move, think, and act with the autonomy of a living being. Of course, critics see this as a power move, a gamble that could backfire if the tech isn't ready. But Musk frames it differently. He says it's about stewardship about guiding one of the most powerful technologies ever created in the right direction. He knows that AI poses both incredible promise and real danger. That's why he's pushing to keep control close. Not to dominate, but to protect. To make sure these machines are used for good. Still, 
One question remains. Is Elon Musk's decision to skip the production of Gen 2 and Gen 3 a brilliant, visionary leap, or a reckless gamble that could backfire if the technology fails? That's for you to decide. So, what do you think? Will Optimus 4 and 5 truly change the world, or is Musk moving too fast even for his own good? Share your thoughts below. We love reading your opinions and theories. And if you enjoyed this deep dive, hit that like button, share the video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to Tech Drive. Turn on notifications so you'll be the first to catch our next big Tesla update, it's dropping in just two days. Until then, stay curious, stay inspired, and remember, the future is closer than you think. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.